Uh, good afternoon. Um, I'll start, but I know some people needed to be admitted in, so if I pop off, I'll just be letting people in. There's just one now. Um, so I'll just go on my PowerPoint. So what I was just thinking was, um, I'll do the PowerPoint, and then if there are any questions at the end, then you're more than welcome to, to ask them. So welcome and thank you for uh, joining my first and hopefully last virtual Win Marley meet. Um, I'm just going to go through a few slides with you just to talk about what the children may need to bring, what to expect. Um, again, this has been recorded, so this can be put, sent out on parent mail to uh, parents who unfortunately can't attend, but also for you to re-watch re if you want, just if you've missed anything or you're unsure or unclear. Apologies, I'm just letting someone join. So obviously, like us, I'm sure you're very happy that uh, with Marley is uh, going ahead and it's on June the 14th. Um, I don't know if any of you are contemplating getting a quick holiday abroad. I don't know if you are then, but I know that has been done in the past. Um, so again, some of you who've been before will realise that usually we've asked you to get there for one o'clock, but obviously due to the circumstances, they've asked us to get there a little bit later. Um, so we're asking if you can drop your children off about 2.30. Now, so I know some of you will have uh, other children who you need to either pick up from school, so we're just thinking that might be around a good time that you can drop your child off and then head back to school. Um, there, there will be a bollard outside with man. They've asked that you drop your child off there, so uh, me or another uh, teacher will be there um, excitedly to uh, pick your child up for you. And um, they've also asked if it can just be one um, family member as well to drop off. Um, I do know that occasionally other parents have brought, and that's. Um, for you to decide but obviously can it just be one person just obviously there's not too many people dropping off at once um, just going through my notes if there's anything else I've missed off that and again yes if you look with the pickups on the one o'clock on the Friday so what they'll do is they'll have two activities in the morning and then they're given a takeaway lunch which is like a sandwich a crisps and a drink and from previous experience, uh, they eat half of that and then they fall asleep in the back of your cars. So that's the date, June the 14th to the 19th. So. So on Monday, Mrs. Shaw will be sending out on parent mail a form for you to fill in. And like you can see on the PowerPoint, it'll just be uh, your emergency contact numbers if your child has any medical treatment. Uh, if they're on any medication, allergies, and again, any special dietary needs. Um, if it's anything more personal that you don't want to put on the phone, but you want to let me or Mrs. Goodger know, please come and see us. Um, nothing's too trivial, nothing's too embarrassing, and uh, we treat it all with uh, great discretion. We've had many, um, what should I say, um, many parents come to see us just to tell us about small stuff, okay, that the child, that it can be quite big for the child, and we try and look after that situation because we know how important it is. So don't think, oh, you don't want to say anything. Just let us know and, and we'll deal with that accordingly. So what are Win Mali doing to keep it COVID safe and secure? So I know that's going to be something that you're going to be thinking about. Uh, they've put in a lot of um, dispensers, uh, hand sanitizers. They're using one-way systems. Um, each They clean out the room, but then use what happens sometimes Members of uh, members of their staff will clean around, but they're just doing that a once off. Um, they have asked, and it's a big one they've asked, is that your child comes with a bottle, so then they're using their drinks bottle to refill during each activity. Apologies, I think someone needs to enter. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so a lot of the, uh, the rooms are deep cleaned. There's one-way systems. Again, at dinner time, we'll get on to...
So again, sorry, I was just letting someone in. <coughs> um, at, dinner, at the dinner times, usually they would have staggered dinners, but other schools would be within that, but they've changed that system now. So they'll be having their, from my understanding, they'll be having their uh, dinners in the uh, room, one school at a time, the one-way system. Uh, and I think from my understanding from the conversation we had, dinners would be, um, sorry, sorry, I think someone else is, going to be admitted in. Man. Let's stop start this. I apologize. What was I saying then? Sorry. Uh, you want yeah, one school, one school at a time in. Um, they have a set place. Um, drinks will be brought to them. There's no self service, so they'll go, they'll order their, they'll get the food that's uh, or not available for the day, and then they'll use a one way system. Again, hands being washed before and after. Very much that's their process. Um, they've changed the layouts of the rooms. So I think usually the rooms were you, where our floor was. You could get rooms of ten children, but I think they've. Um, Narrow that down, so I think it's between uh, five and five and eight now. But again, I think I was mentioning, I can't remember if I, I started then, about bringing a water bottle. We've never really sort of promoted that, but they've, they, when I've spoken to them several times, that's what they've really encouraged, that they, a child brings their own bottle with obviously the name on it that can get filled up between activities because obviously they're not then using the taps where you can just drink from your mouth. So just uh, that's on the list for things to bring, but I just wanted to just emphasize that a bit more. Again, it's just it's the same system as what we do at school, keeping your distance. I know the um, the group leaders and the people on activities, they all wear, will be wearing masks. It's very much trying to keep them outdoors, in the distance, and always about keeping that, washing their hands. So what to bring? Obviously, it's usually in September, but it's June. But remember, it's England, so the weather can change by the minute. Um and I'll show you in a bit of all the activities. A lot of them can be underground, in the forest and the woods, and it can get really cold there. So I'll just think about a selection of shorts and tracksuits. Um, I pride myself on being a proper northerner, and I have shorts on in January, but even I'll be taking some tracksuit pants with me. So just make sure that you think about that. Even if you see the weather, it's glorious and sunny and hot, just I, I would suggest bringing some tracksuit pants, just in case that weather changes, but equally it can get really cold in the woods when they're doing their activities. Um, also, try and make sure that they bring only essential things, practical essential clothes. Again, I'll show you a bit of a video of, of Wim Marley. They will be having to take their stuff up three, three, four flights of stairs. So what they bring, they carry up and they have to bring down. So they don't bring anything that they don't need. Um, again, on the picture, if you can see footwear, it says two pairs of trainers for outdoors. The one for doing the climbing, the giant swings, <clears throat> problem solving. And then maybe an old pair for when we're doing um, log raft buildings or water activities. Now, I'd also suggest that. But I usually take a pair of sliders or, or, or crocs or flip flops just because when they leave the indoors to go to their activities, uh, they usually put them in these racks. So the, what I don't want them doing is wearing one pair of trainers and it takes them forever to be unlacing them, lacing them up and down. Just quite quick to take off your old pair of trainers, slide on your sliders, your flip-flops, then have your dinners or your teas and then back out. So I would recommend two pairs. And again, don't bring any expensive trainers as much as you try and keep them clean. Um, they will get dirty, so just think about what your sent or what your child what your child wants. I know they want to probably bring their the nicest clothes, the best clothes, but just tell them that it's about getting dirty, mess and being and messing with the friends. So just think about what they want to do. Um, bin bags. I can't I, I can't say express too much. There actually lots of bin bags. Don't just bring one or two, just bring enough that you know that will fill their dirty clothes because they will get dirty. Even like I said, if it's beautiful and sunny hot, they'll do activities where there's water guns and they make the ground wet and muddy anyway, so they will be getting mucky. So, And you don't want them chucking all the dirty clothes in with their clean clothes or just a, a bag full of mud. So obviously you can just chuck your bin, like, bin bags when you get 
home. Um, again, two pushes, two paces, um, no aerosol cans. The um, fire systems are very, very sensitive. We, uh, we don't want to be the school that have sending everybody out of the building because someone's been spraying their aerosol cans. Again, we say no, no electronics, not even the iPads, no phones. Okay, they don't need any of that. Um, I'll have to double check a reg adding cameras because using the times we've said about bringing the cameras, do you know, where you can sort of take a photo and then roll them back and get them delivered and um, developed. But um, I'd say if you can get one of them again, you can, yeah. And again, uh, we will be taking lots of pictures. Uh, the teachers who go, we split into three groups. We'll be taking lots of photos. And I will emphasize again, at this point with photos, I'm sure you'll be aware the internet or the broadband at Wimali isn't very good. So we try and do them at dinner, at dinner time, at tea time, at the end of the night when they're trying to, when they get themselves ready. So we look out at Facebook at them sort of time slots to see what your children have been doing. Also, again, because it's summer, it would be an idea of maybe sun cream as well and a hat to bring. And just say it on that sheet, but just emphasising that as well. So this is just a picture. And again, I'll be sending uh, examples of this home of just what they eat. So it just gives you an idea of what they'll, what food they sort of provide and just make sure you realise that your children will be getting fed. Uh, I usually lose a bit of weight over the summer holidays and then I pile it all on as soon as I do my week and win Marley because they do feed you well. They are good portions. And I think, like I said, I've got a funny feeling that they've changed the lunch to be a pack one. So I think we pick them up and again, it's just trying to keep the children outside as much as they can rather than having to come in. So at dinner times, they may just get a sandwich, like a crisp and a drink and a cookie or a cake. But again, the portion sizes are really good and there is a variety of choice. Again, if you let us know about any dietary requirements or needs, we then let, they, they, that's one of the first questions they ask. Do you have any? And they are really good at, uh, they pride themselves on knowing who that child is and making sure everything is up to scratch and right for them. Again, you can have a look through this at your own leisure when they come on tonight. So I just thought it'd be a, bit, a good idea to sort of show you in Marley and give you a bit of an idea of what activities we do. But again, I know some of you have been, but for the ones you haven't, this is the main entrance. If I spin around here, if you can see, this is the red ball. So this is where they would like you. So you can park your cars just at the back near the tree, the them green trees. If you bring your child up, and that's where myself and another member of staff will be waiting for you. And then we'll lead them in. And again, if I spin around, cam frozen on me that is usually where we are so obviously this is the main community area and that's where we need to that's where they need to carry their clothes i've got beeps i'm wondering if it's not working All right. Are you able to see that? Is it coming on? Okay. No. Oh, um, it might be because I'm presenting this. Just apologies. I stop. You'd have thought I'd have been a pro at all this uh, tech, wouldn't you, with the year we've had? Can you see that now? Brilliant. 
we got there eventually. Thank you. <laughs> right. So again, if we go, if I go back and I'll read them a bit. So again, this is the wind mallet. This is the main entrance area. If I spin it around, can you see there the bollard? This is where they would like you to come and drop your child off. So like I said, myself and other member of staff will be here and we'll just take them in through the door. And again, if I spin around. These were these. This is where we will be based up in the top section here. So, like I said, they do have two or three flights of stairs to get up. So, they are expected to carry them, use them a soft touch, and they end up carrying them for them when they, they look so sad and upset about it. But yeah, so again, just bring what they can: bin bags. Make sure the sleeping bags, because most of the time the sleeping bags get pulled out, they're falling on the floor, and they're lugging up a big luggage suitcase. So just. Just think about what, what they're bringing and what they need to bring. Again, if I click on here, this is the kitchen area. I spin it completely around. Can I go forward this way? So they come, there's some, a ramp up here behind the plant. They come in, they get served within this section that you can't see behind the red wall. And you come down a ramp and then they're situated in an area around here. So again, you can see it's a very big room and they've said that the only ones go at a time. So social distancing shouldn't be a problem for them at all. And each, and each what they do is one school comes in, has their dinner, they, they, they go out, they clean it up, then another class come back in. Just give you an example of the bedrooms. So again, like dormitories, they have little sections to put their clothes in, which are never used, they're just in a bag, dumped on the floor. So every time we come in to see how they are, you fall over. Wrappers on the floor, I'm sure you can uh, picture it yourselves. And again, if I go to this one, so this is the whole area. So that's the main building of Wimali. Okay, and like I said, a lot of them, as you can see over here, like your trapeze, the low ropes all aboard. Jacob's ladder, they're all inside the woods. And they and you can you could spend, I think each one's one and a half hours. You could spend three hours underneath that if you got two at the same um one after the other. Because again, they sometimes led you back to the area to swap uh, instructors, but again, just to try and minimize the amount of contact you have with different instructors. They're trying to lim um, limit that. So the instructor you have for your trapeze could be the same one you have for all the board. So again, it's just making sure that again, it might be warm, but if your child is cold, even in the hot summer days, think about what clothing they have. So just to give you a bit of an idea, that's a trapeze one. It's a good website to go on just to have a look, so even if your child's a bit worried, just to show them all the fun that they're having and actually safety. I think one of the favourites is uh, the Giant Swing. That's one that most people talk about, which is over here. I don't think there's anything to show you on that one. It's quite, in fact, it might be video. I, I will do it. I want to be no. Trust me. Watch me stand still. Hold the rope for me. Uh oh. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Are you ready for your second go? You're going to yeah. go just as high. Be prepared. Yes. Brilliant! Come on, guys! Keep going! Oh, that's, not, that's usually not a good one to go on after your dinner. But again, a lot of them are all about um, pushing yourselves and teamwork and sort of supporting each other to, to do the best that they can do. Again, it's Jacob's Ladder. There's a variety. Usually, um, June, July time, they get in contact with us at school and sort of ask us what we're interested in. And so we do a lot of these ones, which are a lot of team building, teamwork activities, and then we have what they've got. Wait, I can't, I've got to class it as a lake. You can't class it as a lake, can you? It's like, more like a pond. But again, where we don't, they've done canoeing, and again, working as a team to build a raft. 
and then see if it sinks or swims. So there's a variety of different activities. Again, it might be worth when we find out what our timetable looks like, just coming on and having a look with your children just to get them familiarised with the, the layout of it and what sort of activities they do. Uh, regarding rooms and activities, what I usually do is for the activities, I get the register and I just um, usually there's three groups, but I think the minimum is shortening down, so it may be four groups. And I just go down the register and I just go one, one, two, three, four for group one, two, three, four, and then just go all the way down. And that's there, that's the group they're with. When it comes to being in the room, uh, I give them that opportunity to pick. So again, it might be dependent if there's a room of eight, a six, or a group of four. I usually give them that opportunity to pick who they want to stay with. And then again, we sort of guide people to rooms or have discussions about what's best. But I think when they get to year six, that's important that they can make them decisions for themselves and make the right ones. So that is my presentation on Win Marley. So as far as my last slide is just, are there any questions? If I come on to the meet, has anyone got any questions? Anybody unsure or unclear about anything? If you want to put your hand up. Is it self-explanatory? Again, so uh, uh, there is a gift, there is a gift shop. Uh, we ask that the children bring uh, no more than £10. Um, and again, that's open to one school at a time. Um, we advise them to not buy the fragile stuff on day one or spend the day one money all on um, pick and mix, but they all have that. And the money is their responsibility. We, are, we do not take a responsibility of that. So we tend to make sure it's in a secure wallet or a purse. And again, that's, that wallet and purse is kept in a safe, secure place in their bag. Was that okay presentation? Again, if, there, if there's any questions regarding the medical form that comes out on Monday, come see Mrs. Uh, Shaw or myself and Mrs. Gudgeon. Uh, if there's anything that you want to talk about regarding your child being worried, come. I'm quite persuasive. I get, I, I get involved. I go all week. I do all of them. You'll probably find that I push most of the children out of the way to be the first to do it because I'll get scared if I wait and watch them do it. But again, it's all, about, it's all about being a team. It's all being part of a group, and especially, I'm sure you'll agree, after the year we've had, the amount of times we've not been together, it's going to be a great week actually being together, and it gives you a bit of a break. Right. Well, I'm more than happy to uh, stop this presentation. Um, I will wait till the end, so if there's any of you that want to ask a question but not in front of people, feel free to do that. And again, if you want to come and see me, please do, but um, let me just say that we do look after your children, okay? We'll do everything for them, and we make sure that they have an experience that they, will, they won't forget. And most importantly, it's always the memories for the Leavers Assembly, so we need to make sure it is, because we're struggling with memories for this year, so we need to get a lot done in that week, okay? Right, well, thank you very much for attending and listening to me rambling on, and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. much. Bye, -bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can no I problem. Thank you. Can I? Can you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Will you, what? What will you bring? I am mega jealous. Whatever you want, I'll come. <laughs> I think it's the one where we have to. It's the one we have to tell all the pet teachers that they can't come some of the time. They all want to come, so. I'm gutted. It looks brilliant, right? Thank you very much. No problem. See you later. Mr. K? Yes? Hi, it's Rachel Blake's mum. Um, oh, yes. Just to remind you that Blake's not going to be in school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes. Because of Daniel's uh, operation thing, operation. so yeah, right. um, I've got a form for for Daniel for, from the hospital. Should I drop that into school so they know about it? Obviously, Becky knows. So yes, yes, bring that in. Yes, I was just looking at Mrs. Wood for confirmation, but yeah, bring that in. Right. Okay, I'll, I'll drop that off later. Um, just the other thing, he does. 
I don't know if Becky's going to win Marley with you. I know she usually does. But he does tend to get headaches, you know, if it's like noisy and late and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. he's he's been checked out of the opticians and everything. But it's just he sometimes will come at night and he'll go, Mum, I've got a headache. So we give him Calpol. Now, what would the deal be with that? Because it's not like a prescribed thing. Yeah, that's fine. I think if you put that medical form that you gave the permission, I think that's fine for the week. Yeah. Right. I mean, he, he might not need it. I don't know. But sometimes when he comes in from school, he'll say it was loud. I've got a headache. Yeah. And, tell, tell, and stuff. Fill, fill it in and bring it in. Probably what would happen is it might be the first night he might because it's noisy. And then he'll be so tired and the other children are so tired. That actually, as much as they pretend they'll be having a midnight feast, by Wednesday, Thursday, they're wanting to go to bed before us at eight o'clock. So, yeah. Right. So that would be OK. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okie dokes. Yeah, just no, that, that's all really. That's okay. Right. Do we, does that just go in his bag or do we have to give it to you? Or? No, you'll have to. No, you'll have to hand that in to us and you sign, you sign a little form just to tell us what, you've, what you're giving us and when, when okay. or how much. So, yeah, we'll do Yeah, on the. I, I usually do that on the day, but because they're asking you to drop them off, I'll probably do it the Friday before. Okay, that's fine. And uh, they're not in school in the day, are they? Or do they just come oh, to no, win Marley? Was, no, that's what I was going to say because it's like, but no, no, they don't come to school. They just they just stay with you and then I meet them there. Right, okie dokes. Cool. That's no okay. problem. Okay, okay. Tell, tell Blake to like, check on their Google Classroom on Monday and I'll put some work on for him. That's brilliant. Thanks ever so much. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Have yeah, a good see, see you later. Bye. You. Well, thank bye. You. bye, -bye.